right, let me tell you what's going on, guys. Um, get this started. Your bad fortune in the last in the last session put me in an interesting position because I mean we've got owl bears, murderous beasts that obviously once you've encountered them are not liable to go away until they're just, until they're defeated. And it occurred to me that at some point or another, whether you wanted to or not, you'd probably end up having to chase them back to their lair. So I thought, why not sooner rather than later? Especially when uh, Sergio played into my hands by creating a character as the son of the character he just lost. That character will obviously have a motive, a double motive in this case, because he came out to get his father's help in defeating the owlbears, and now he's going to about to discover that his father was killed by them. And combined with that, the fact that there's been a lot of people who have who keep, who are always asking for live plays, and I'm not real happy with the previous ones I've posted. I really kind of wanted to show an adventure from start to finish. I, a dungeon. Of course, that means I need a small one. And I'm hopeful that the recording I've got running is actually going to work. I have had the worst luck with recording things, which is part of the reason why I'm, I'm dissatisfied with my previous, previous live plays. Last thing on the list was the first thing. It's what got me started on this path. People keep asking me for a Solomar I Speaks video about creating dungeon adventures. So it occurred to me the thing to do is to create a dungeon adventure and to create a small one that meshes with this ongoing campaign, ongoing scenario we have now, so it all fits together, and then do a live play. So I'm going to, I've actually recorded most of that video. Now we're going to do the live play, and then after. I post the live plays, however many sessions it takes to get through it. Then I'll post the video about how I made the dungeon, and you guys can watch me coming up with these terrible ideas. Mm, so that's, okay. where we're, that's where we're at with this. So that we're doing this, I'm doing it kind of backwards. Uh, I, I'm going to show how I, how I created the dungeon after I played it. But I've actually already recorded most of that video at this point. So, we start. Beginning of the scene, it is... Could be the same day, or yeah, basically. So it'd be the same day or the next day. It's up to you guys how you want to play this. But uh, I'd Nicodemus and Aldar are coming to visit. Yeah, I'd figure. I mean, we pretty much leave off or start where we left off, where I was kind of came in and basically sunk to my knees and was like, "Armstrong, we've lost our buddies. They're they're toast." And then. Uh, you know, we, we hung out for a bit, and then I said, well, take a look at this stuff I brought. So I brought it, what I could carry, the useful items off them, and, um, yep. I, I, I can't bear to bring myself to even look at the belongings of Theodore uh, or Opie. And I'm having trouble with the fact that I always kept them alive, but it was the one time I ran away that they died, so I'm I'm feeling very guilty about their deaths. It's not your fault, Armstrong. We tried. There's nothing we could do. But I think they would want us to press on. They would want us to find a way home. Oh, we're going to press on. I may do more than just press on. All right. Um, so I guess we re probably rest up for a night and get... Uh, at least get a hit point back, and then maybe they uh, pop on. If you want to do that uh, as them arriving the next day, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, just get another. Let's, let's take a rest, and then uh, we can just get this adventure rolling. Okay, so go ahead and add a point back to Armstrong and Vernon both for resting the night. And we begin probably mid-morning, about the time it would have taken Nicodemicus and Aldar to walk to you if they started out at sunrise. And Armstrong. you guys are on, guys. I think someone's out there, coming through the bushes. Uh, I'll drag my mall up and walk to the door and take a look outside. <clears throat> I got my bow ready. What do you see? Well, not yeah. Albert. Yeah, these look like regular... Looks like a uh, couple of people. Let's go out there and Oops. see what they want. All right, you first. Remember, remember... This is our cabin now. That's what they would have wanted. Yeah, of course. 
Uh, I, I, I advance outside and greet the party as they are trolling up. And as others uh, comes to the cabin and sees a stranger on the doorway of his father's cabin, he says, Who are you? I am Armstrong. Well, Master Armstrong, you are in luck. Because this cabin has just been visited by the most brilliant archmage that there ever has been, or ever has will be. He's a mage, like like Theodore was. No, 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 no. I am no mere mage. I am an archmage of the 20th degree. Oh, I didn't know it went that high. Yes, they made the degree especially for me. I see. Okay, well, um... Well, he's not as humble as Theodore was. Wait a minute, Nicodemus. Where is Master Kelvin? Where is the uh, druid? Who asks? Yeah. I am Alder, son of Kelvin, his Oof. son. Yeah. Maybe you ought to come you, you inside. Want to, you want to tell him or you want to... I'll let you tell him. Armstrong. Master Armstrong, is this your child? <laughs> hey. Uh, no. No, not at all. I might be a halfling, but I am no child. And I'll prove yeah. that to you, old man. Sure, his mouth is going on. Let me, let me pause you guys. Let me pause you guys here one point. I do want to point out that Nicodemus and Aldar know each other fairly well. They come oh, yeah. from the same village, so they should assume you should assume that they do know each other. So can I, we I get assume it? that's not that much. For, Wait, that's do you guys I actually think. look at like what your things are? So like Nicodemus is an older man uh, with a staff yes, and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, l let me see, I forgot the age. I'm uh, 60. 60. No? Yeah, and you're, 60. You're both humans or, or? I'm a human. Okay. I am okay. the offspring of Keldril, who was of the lineage, the lineage of elves, and my mother. Uh, <laughs> not. Okay, so you're half elf. Is, yeah. uh, is your mother still alive? Yes, she is. She's very much alive. Oh, okay. Well, it, may, it might not be, be so bad. I have some very bad news. Uh, your father was torn asunder by a pack of owlbears. Uh, torn asunder? Way to, way to soften the blow. <laughs> <laughs> I, will not, and I, I will not sugarcoat it. It was very unpleasant. And uh, here we are. Yes. If, if the... you have any more questions, I'm sure uh, Vernon will, will answer them. Uh, Excuse me, I'm going to go back inside now. Vernon's just pacing very nervously and <laughs> sad. Yeah, uh, why don't you guys come in? This is unexpected. Yes. Yes. And also, this is uh, technically, I think, your cabin, uh, young Master Eldar. I mean, uh, Vernon, I don't think we found a will, per se, but uh, we'll worry about that later. We're long old friends of uh, Keld, but come on in. Yeah. I'm sure you know your place, your way around here, considering you're his son. Yeah. I visited... I do indeed. I visited... Old friends, you've known him about two weeks, probably. Sorry? Sorry? You knew him probably about two weeks, Vernon. Old friends, I love that. Oh no, well, I'm just, you know, I'm just establishing. <laughs> we like this cabin. Old man, what are you doing out here in the wilderness? Well, this is a good question. You see, I have, I have recently uh, developed a sort of issue with my magic. It's not what it used to be. Well, I thought you were an archmage. I am. I certainly am. I'm the best archmage that uh, I have ever seen, and probably that you will ever encounter. Well, you're the first one I've ever encountered, so it's true. Ah. Yes. Did you run well, into we've... owlbears on your way here? No, oh, but rest yeah. assured, we will, uh, we will uh, make short work of these uh, foul beasts. Oh. <laughs> now, now, that I am, now that I am here, I shall prepare my fireball spells, and then we shall... Oh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fireball spells, eh? Oh, yes. I was taught by the best. I am the perhaps, best. Perhaps we can step outside and you can give us an exhibition. 
Well, I would, but my uh, magical uh, technique has been on the fridge lately. Oh. So it's best it's, it's best to uh, save these uh, moments for uh, when they're uh, most useful and most needed. So well, they go on the look. fridge when we really need them. Yes, and well, we'll I am see our mage. Hmm? But we'll see our mage. Let's just see how it goes. So what what brings you out here anyway? Well, young Master Vernon, I was accompanying my friend Eldar to uh, the, his father's cabin. And what uh, do we uh, find here but to the two of you? Mostly unexpected, and I assume uh, that you knew my father somewhat. But uh, in, let's put it this way. I got here like four days ago, and I've known him for maybe like two days. Uh, Vernon looks at his feet. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we were his friends. He's actually saved us, and we we uh, owe him a lot. He's a very brave man. You'd be proud of the way he fought, Aldar. And yes, what he, have you done with his body? And why should I believe you? But you are asking, where does he rest? You're asking the wrong people. I could show you. I would... would I had to get out there, get out of there with my life, but I plan to go back and give them a proper burial. And seeing as you are look like a godly fellow, maybe you can give them a proper, uh, proper burial with us, or or burning. I'm not sure what his your father would have wanted. No, it's not. Yes, my I don't. Father know. would have would have rather have his people bury him. And I am clearly not his people. He made sure of that. Master Eldar, if you do not trust these folk, let me assure you I can cast a spell on them and make them tell the truth. I am sure you can, Nicodemus. I've done so many times. Let's not, let's not waste your marvelous magic in, in trying to fool these two people. You have nothing to worry it's with just us. that I am... I am shocked. I didn't have much of a relationship with my father, but I ever well, wished I, I had. We lost friends, too. I lost yeah, it wasn't years. very... It wasn't easy for us, too. Was, we lost a very good friend. And, and in the short time him. we knew your father, we we grew fond of him, and he, he was a good person. Uh, uh, losing friends is always difficult. I've lost many friends. Many. The most. I'm afraid there might not be much left to uh, bury. Uh, the owlbears were pretty thorough, and it's been a good 24 hours, so... What brings you out here? Nicodemus can, can say the words much better than I, since I'm still confused and awed by this news. Well, uh, young Master Vernon, uh, <laughs> nobody goes... Uh... Uh, out of the village uh, alone uh, these days. These owlbears have been uh, a terrible scourge on the country, at least the uh, surrounding countryside. So we'd so like to know... Um, yeah? You're on the hunt for some owlbears, then? Is that your task? Oh, I'm an, uh, I'm an archmage, uh, Master Vernon. I don't hunt. Uh, oh. That's, it's, no, no. It's, uh, but it's certainly uh, more prudent for us to uh, travel in, uh, in pairs. Yes, we came actually looking for Keldril to see if his druidic magic could cast these foul creatures yeah. off the, the, the well, path of carnage they Unfortunately, they I think we, if we trying to get rid of these, we, we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way with steel and fireball spells. Yes. Yes. We have, chain some, lightning. we have some of your father's belongings, if you'd like to ruffle through some of his items. They might give you some form of solace. Yeah, they're right over here. I could only carry so much. But there's more at the scene, and maybe we could track the owlbears from there and track them well, to the I, lair. Am I correct in assuming uh, that uh, you left his body but took all his stuff? It was a messy affair. We went back and... Yeah, I, we'd only been here for a little bit. Planned to go back this morning, and then you showed up. Hmm. Interesting. So, what are we going to do about these owlbears? 
I, uh, well, it, it, it may be time for uh, someone to uh, intervene and uh, take care of these uh, things uh, once and forever. I guess it's an honor thing for me now. Mm, the last memory of my father is going to be uh, this cruel joke that he gave me a, an, an obligation, another obligation. So, Well, I can show you where the scene happened, and maybe we could take a look and see what you guys think. If uh, these are the owl bears you're after, maybe we could track them down and help you. Old man, will your magics make me stronger? <laughs> My magics will make you stronger than uh, you have ever been before. You will be the strongest. Very well. Then, well, you have all my support. I'll show you the way if you're ready to go. Certainly. I'm sure we do not have to fear anything. I mean, I am an archmage and all that. Mm. Okay, so you are going back to the scene of the uh, of the murder of your uh, friends. Yep. Uh, I had a I had a question. Do uh, do Aldor and uh, uh, Nicodemus do they know the the owl bears in question? Like like are they two specific owl bears or is it just a pack of owl bears? Owl bears are um, very uh, voracious creatures. As a consequence, if you have owl bears in your neighborhood, you know about it okay. because they're eating your livestock if they're not eating your family. Yeah, but it's not like we position in the wrong place on the map. So let me get you to the top center here. It's not like we know them by uh, old gray beak or something uh, like it's uh, well known. Uh, no, they're actually new in the territory. You didn't have problems with owl bears until just very recently. Oh, okay, so it's a recent, uh, recent plot. Exactly. Well, um, just all I'm gonna say is just brace yourself because it's not pretty. It's, it's just right over here. Yeah, it's... Uh... Okay, I have positioned bones on the map showing the locations of the remains of the, the characters. That was Opie, where you're standing there, and the other two were up there in that pile. And there is very little left but bones, as there was before, and a now fairly dry pool of blood. Um, can I use my uh, great axe to uh, knock about some dirt around enough to roll the remains of Theodore and Opie into their own little shallow grave and bury them? Yeah, if you want to do that. Yeah, I would want yeah. to bury them. Yeah, I'll pay my respects. I traveled with him for many moons, it seemed. And in the short time that uh, Vernon was with Theodore, he really liked Theodore and looked up to him, so he's uh, it bothers him. So yeah, he wants to bury Theodore for sure. And then uh, I guess we just let Aldar handle his father. Yeah, they'll do the same. It's a little hard to separate them. <laughs> a little hard to tell them apart. <laughs> kind of hard to tell them apart. This elf skull is a little is a little narrower, and and uh, that's about it. <laughs> While this is going on, I'm uh, looking around, just making sure there's nothing coming. Scanning the area. I was just uh, while they're kind of taking care of this, I'm just looking around. Just I'm surveying the area, just look like watching out. Okay. Uh, are the, is this uh, something? That's where Opie's body is piled. Yeah, and Armstrong kind of buried him. Okay. Buried the bones and stuff. What little was left. You guys are dealing with the remains of your friend while Vernon is keeping watch. Yep. But Vernon... Vernon knows where the old were. Vernon was, uh, was looking the wrong way, apparently, when an owlbear entered the scene. Oh, here we go again. And that means we are in rounds. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I rolled a surprise I mean, check. You were surprised, so the owlbear got the opportunity to get fairly close to So this is straight initiative now. Straight initiative. And you guys, hang on a minute. Okay. Armstrong got a one. Monsters got a one. Vernon, okay. So, yeah, that's where we're at. All right. Guys, I just heard something. It's an owlbear! Get ready! Now point it out to them and immediately start climbing that tree again. <laughs> an all too, an all too familiar place. <laughs> He's like, here we go again. I'll roll from you. Climbing a tree, so it's, I'm going to give you plus 20%. I'm making you roll because you're in a hurry. Yep. Oh. Your odds are pretty good, so. 
Mm-hmm. 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 What, 87%? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Is it... <laughs> Chris, <laughs> do, we, do we just do the one? I'm doing a small die of damage to you because you didn't fall that far, so two points of damage to Vernon <sighs> for falling out of the tree. And that's Vernon's round. What what were you saying, Armstrong? It, is it just... Uh, do we just see one owlbear? Just see one owlbear. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, and that was uh, Vernon, so Nicodemicus is next. What uh, mighty spell are you going to cast, Nicodemicus? Now, do not fret, companions. I shall cast my fireball, uh, but I'm actually casting lights on the owlbear's eyes. Ah, okay. Which I've never done before. I think it's a saving... Getting through first spell. I have, uh, roll- I have rolled that. It looks like you were successful. The light seems to be on the monster's eyes, and the monster seems very unhappy about that situation. Where is the fire? And that is... is... Okay, so Aldar is next. Sergio? Oh. uh, Aldar is next. Aldar. I I heard of Aldar. (laughs) Uh, Oh, ah, sorry. Aldar says, I think Mother is going to be mad at me. And I I start walking towards the Aldar. Okay, are you... What are you wearing? I am wearing a uh, chainmail plus one and my mace. And 30 yards. 30, yes. So I guess I can move one, two, right? Or, or three? That's two. two. Yep. Three. Three. Well, that's you can keep moving. going. Uh, oh, these, these, these are five. five. Okay. That, five. Oh, okay. So, so I have three more. I started from here. I started from here. I guess one, two, well, that's three, three, four. That's three, four. That's four. Yeah. Another diagonal is five, six, and that's the end of your movement. Ah, uh, okay. Five, six. Uh, yeah. Sorry. That's the end of your movement. Sorry. That's okay. You're fine. Um, you have all the hit points in this party since uh, Armstrong is at eight. Oh. Uh, so that's your move, and you don't have, uh, you have, are, you have a ranged attack? No, I don't. So that means it is the monster and Armstrong moving simultaneously on one. And I have turned some pages here. Armstrong, be careful. I can't lose you, too. I can't quite make it to you. Does he, uh, charging. Does he so, appear to be blinded? Oh, you are correct. Think about this. That means I have to roll to see. He still can't get to anybody, but that's where he ends up. Going towards the general sound of your party. It is Armstrong's turn. As you'll notice, Armstrong, the uh, owlbear has advanced and is much closer to you, but hasn't reached you yet. And you have, it's your move, and then we roll initiative again. One. Can I move right there and attack if he gets near me? Well, he can't move anymore this round, but yeah, you can. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, right there's fine then. Okay, and the other thing is, is that he is blinded thanks to uh, Nicodemus. Yeah, that was, I was going to make sure he knew that because I don't, I didn't know when he left. Well, look, I did really good for initiative, yeah. didn't I? I'll take that. I'll take that. Says the guy with a plus two on his initiative. I'll always take a one on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nicodemus on five, Vernon on five, Aldar on three, Armstrong. Yep. Did you roll. Much Ooh. better than last time. Yep. You're actually uh, faster than the fast guy. So, uh, what you gonna do? Can I delay my action to see if I have a feeling it? That, is he looking at me? But he can't find you. He's he's following you guys based on the sound. Oh, that's right. That's right. he can't see. His face is like lit up. I'm gonna stand perfectly still and and delay my action if I can. Then Nicodemus and Vernon are next. Okay. Um, Vernon can. Um, it's a- you can stand back up, and I'll let you go ahead and make a full move. Yeah, um, I have magic armor now, so now my range goes up to 40 feet. So I'm going to run across Correct. to here and uh, take a shot. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Not only did you take a shot, you hit. Okay. So a little bit of damage. Obviously didn't kill it. Uh, enraged it somewhat. Okay, uh, and then Nicodemus, are you going to do anything else? Yeah, I'm going to stand uh, perfectly still. Keep as quiet as possible. Perfectly still. 
And then does that put us down to Aldar? It does. Aldar's on three again. What you gonna do? I step forward, shout Nicodemus, Nicodemus, step off the way and try to hit him with my plus one mace. Try to try to hit the it. So <laughs> you're not gonna try to hit yeah. that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. You are not quite behind your opponent, by the way. So no. You don't get the extra plus two. You can't really defend well blinded, though. Is not good enough. 13 is not good enough. That makes it the monster's turn. And I'm going to say... Yep, definitely the monster's going to attack you. It is, of course, minus four on all of its attack rolls. Yeah, and to armor class, I think. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, okay. 15. Okay, I'm not 15. recording 3D dice. That's two there. All right. Uh, so. My AC is 16. Your AC is 16. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that is one hit with a bite. Neither claw hits you. Uh, so. Oops. I don't want to do that much damage. Five points to Aldar from the bite. Okay. Cool. So, okay. How much so, HP do you guys have? Now I have 12. <laughs> okay. The numbers don't show up for some reason. Okay. Looking at uh, at the monitor screen, I can now see everybody's hit point numbers. Okay, so you should be in business now. Okay, and where are we at? That was the monster's attack on one, which means we are back around to that magic time again. Okay, Nicodemus is tied with the monster. Everyone else is fast. Aldar is first. And I attack again. 17. That hits. Eight. Oh, nice, nice. Take Very that nice. vicious monster. <laughs> it's not dead yet, but yes, you did, you did get a, a good solid hit on it. It screams its rage and frustration at not being able to see you. Looks like Vernon is next. Is it, it's also uh, more easy to hit, uh, right? Because it's blinded. It's easy. It's easier. It has a harder time hitting you guys. Oh, because I thought you are effectively invisible to it. I thought blinded meant uh, uh, also well, not... minus four penalty to armor class. It's not like he's. Um... Now you're saying that. Now you're going to make me wonder, and maybe I've misremembered it. I did write the game. It doesn't mean I know how. It works. <laughs> um. So on my turn. Since he's uh, in melee with it, I'm going to go ahead and climb this tree that I'm next to here. And... Be careful. <laughs> that could kill you. In answer to your question, um, I have to look at... Yeah, it's kind of important because it's uh, one of my only spells, so... Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you shouldn't, be re you shouldn't be revealing that to the, to the guys, man. Seriously. Where is that at? Page 52. Just looked it up. Okay, where are you? You're on 52, huh? It does say uh, minus four penalty to attack roll, minus four penalty to armor class. Okay, you are looking at something I'm not seeing. So hang on a minute, let me catch up. Oh, what do you know? Okay. Congratulations, you caught me in a live, in an actual <laughs> play, not remembering how my own game works. <laughs> you get a no prize for that. I actually called it out oh, immediately, yeah. but um, I didn't want <laughs> I, originally, I was like, he's easier to hit now, isn't he? And no, I didn't hear a response, but it's all good. You know what? You were right, though. So, hey, uh, from this point forward, um, you guys basically have a plus four to hit it. Rather than dealing with the armor class, I'm just going to give you the plus four. Where are we at? Um, Aldar has attacked. Uh, he was on six, and so it's Vernon now. That's where we were. Um, uh, he was climbing, I think. Yeah, I was going to... Yeah. Are you climbing another tree? <laughs> that's that's brave with three hit points. Yeah, I mean, well, last time I didn't have to roll for it, so I I, I guess yeah, I don't want to have to roll for it again. If so. you if yeah. you uh, yeah, I didn't make you roll for it last time, and I did think about that. If you're if you're trying to climb a tree in a hurry, it's not as easy if you as if you're just climbing a tree. Climbing a tree would be easy for a thief, but climbing a tree to avoid being ripped to pieces by an owl yeah. bear in in ten um, seconds, yeah. In yeah, you've got 10 seconds. Get up that tree or die. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It really does kind of call for a die roll. So yeah, that's fine. 
that's a ruling yeah. situation where I, I felt like maybe I made a mistake last time. But since the mistake was in your favor, I, I don't feel bad. No, that makes sense. So um, I guess I, I will just stay down here, but stay kind of in the bushes as much as I can, somewhat hidden. Are you still hiding, or are you... No, I'm going to try to shoot at it then. Um, take this small chance of hitting Aldar, but I trust my shot. Come on. Yes. Especially when you yep. roll that. Ooh. Okay, so let's have some damage. Oh, I didn't even see your die roll. Oh, we darned. I mean, yeah. Okay, so... Where are we at in the initiative cycle? That was Vernon... Had a five. Alder had a six. Nicodemus had a three. So he was tied. Armstrong, Armstrong, sir, are you gonna do something? Yeah, I'm popping over here and knocking this thing about the head and face with my maul. Hmm. Another plus four on top of that would be eleven. It's definitely not enough to hit it. So no, definitely. What was that? I don't know. Where the heck did that come from? Uh, That's my color. I'm just sitting here with my hands on my... <laughs> That's your oh five-year-old. <laughs> Both of these have, have their time. My, oh, my hand was like 10 miles from the... the... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the one you rolled, rolled back there. Yeah. It just took its time. Yeah. So now we're doing initiative again. No, wait, wait, wait. The monster was slow. Yeah, it's it still his turn, yep. Oh. Okay, the monster is backing off. Which That's a fighting withdrawal. So there, and then we have initiative, and I have rolled a two, and Aldar has rolled a six. Vernon's got a four, and actually I've got a minus one, on, minus two on that initiative. So the Albert's on zero. Oh, Armstrong. Yeah. Initiative, man. Oh. Nice. It's trying to get away. Okay, so... You guys are all faster. Aldar's first if he wants to do something. Yeah, I'm going right after him. I think I can get here and maybe roll with some luck. I have a plus four, so... You have a plus four, betcha. Plus seven total for me. In my defense, I don't think I've had a player blind a monster in I don't know how long. That's that really has been a long time since anybody's done that. So it could go either way. I'm not I, even I worried about it. You missing it because it makes sense that because he's not like a human where he's using a shield to specifically defend. He's just a big uh, monster. So yeah, still okay. So Aldar, you have definitely hit. Excellent. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ping. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you, you, you stubbed its finger there. Okay, and that would be Nicodemus and Armstrong on five. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move behind uh, Armstrong and uh, urge them on by saying, my magic, my brilliant magic has obviously proven to be too sophisticated for this beast. Now finish my job. <laughs> He is no Theodore. <laughs> All right, I'm rolling to hit this thing. Uh, so 18. That's a hit. Still blinded. Yep. Ooh. Yes. Done. Revenge. And yes. Revenge indeed. So you have defeated an owlbear. Congratulations. Nice. That's half your revenge. It's amazing how much difference one spell can make in a combat. Mr. Nicodemus. I thought you were yes. going to cast a fireball. I didn't see any fire in that battle. Well, there was a flash and there was uh, a lot of screaming, so the difference is uh, minimal. <laughs> mm. Also, young oh, Master Vernon, know. you might be too young to completely understand uh, the reasoning behind my spellcraft. I am, after all, an archmage. Yes, of course. Archmage. archmage. It's not polite to doubt. Master Nicodemus. <laughs> yeah, so I, I go up to the owlbear and I kick it in the kick it in the head. Uh huh. I have slain the beast. I uh, I say you have as I'm pulling my arrows back out of the the animal. How many uh, how many arrows did you shoot at it? Uh, two. Two. I think you get one back. Or three. I was doing it more just out of a point to show Nicodemus that I actually killed it, along with my friend Armstrong. That's fine. <laughs> but you still got one. Cool. I'll take it. Master Vernon, I see you're in a bad shape. 
let me award you with with this special beverage. And I hand him my healing potion. Okay. Oh. 1d6 oh. plus 1. Vernon gets to roll it. Okay. So we can't blame Aldar for bad rolls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong thing. Sorry. Uh, There you go. Five. Five. Well, whew, feel much better. You feel, your fa- you feel almost your perfectly... Your father was uh, a great healer, you know. Yes, I, I, I've heard. I heard that. We didn't have a, a fluid relationship. Yeah, he didn't use fluid so. to uh, heal me, though. He used spells. Do you, spe- uh, do you cast heal spells? I don't cast healing spells. Oh. But I can, through the grace of my deity, which I will tell you the name. <laughs> It's not important. Yeah, it's not fine. time. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. I, I, I can channel my deity's favor to you and maybe heal you. Okay. You guys wanted to uh, try to find the lair of these beasts, because there might be more. Uh, do you want me to try to track down, find where they came from? Yes, yeah. but first, I, I've, se- I've seen uh, Master Armstrong is not in the best of shapes. Okay, so Maybe while I he's can... doing that, I start to look for the tracks to find... Uh... Well, it's, it's pretty easy. You just go down, uh, down into the right into that gap, past the big rock. Yep. And they leave a pretty substantial trail. Okay. okay. It's not like they're trying to hide in the wilderness. Guys, so, it's this uh, way. Before, before everything, I think I, I should heal Armstrong, too. So I'm, I lay hand, I, I'll, I'll cast... Uh, uh, a healing spell on him, like your leg wounds. You have a an interesting take on. Yeah, this. I'm confused. Now. <laughs> it's not as confusing as Nicodemus, but yes, but I, I felt inspired, so I tried to confuse everybody. Yeah. Well, one d six plus one, regardless. Yes, of how, I'm, how I'm strong. Is going to roll right? <laughs> uh, no, normally the caster rolls that. Oh, so I'm going to be playing. Yeah, unless Armstrong wants to take the load off your shoulders. No, it's okay. I... <laughs> yeah, I'll roll. I'll roll it. I'll, I'll happily roll. Yeah, a little, a little too late, Arv. Yeah, that's uh, two, correct? Because it's one d six plus one. Yeah, two, yeah. So Vernon has found a trail. Yeah. That so was I my think... deity talking to you. Oh. <laughs> it's this way. I think he's this saying way. you need to change your ways or something. I don't know. Following the trail left by the owl bear, you, you realize pretty quickly that it's a well-beaten trail that the owl bears have apparently been hunting in this area for a few days and have uh, have torn their way through the undergrowth in several places. You uh, you go down a hill uh, and into a a bit of a draw and begin up the next hill, which is covered in undergrowth. But you can see where the owl bear has torn through the undergrowth. Owl bears, excuse me, plural, have, have torn through the undergrowth and have gained access to a cave that was previously hidden. So now the question is, are you going in the cave? No, I'll pass. Let's go. Yes, young, young Master Vernon, do, do you have any sense of how many of these beasts uh, reside in the cave? Let me take a closer look, TM. The short answer is no. You have no idea. How I can't quite there. tell. There's lots of tracks. They're overlaying. Other than, other than there's overlaying. at least two. Yeah, there's definitely a couple. I could see a couple different sizes here. One of them's got a broken toe, as you can see there. You could tell them apart. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't tell quite for sure. It's more than one. And it looks fresh, so I believe they might be here still. Well, yeah, yeah. So, um, I'll... Uh, let my man Armstrong show you how it's done. He's very strong. So are we going in? Yeah, I don't know, no. Master Nicodemus. What is your? What are your thoughts on this situation? Well, I was thinking of my uh, building my tower, my mage's tower, but uh, this situation at the present uh, yes. confuses me. Uh, why would the beasts uh, be here? Does not make sense. To me. How does the cave look? Does it look like? Does it look like uh, it's uh, like a bear uh, lair or bear cave or just a, 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 it, a quite a large complex? Or? As, you, uh, as you look down uh, at the area around the entrance, you notice uh, 
a stone, and as you look at it, you notice another stone, and then you realize that there's a line of them, and there's uh, stones here and there, and you realize they're worked stones, that they are fragments of a foundation of something. But the stones have rounded edges and pitting and moss on them uh, that tell a story of centuries of of exposure to the elements, to the wind and the water. Mm. There was something here built by the hands of men or by the hands of something that must have looked something like men anyway. Something here that's long gone. And there is the opening that leads down into the hill. Well... Yes, careful consideration of the situation has granted me insights in what we have found here, gentlemen. I believe we have found the entrance to a dungeon. Great, another dungeon, Armstrong. <laughs> Let us go forward. Oh, you have uh, experience in these matters? Uh, all, right, all right, I shall, I shall follow. Unfortunately, right. we do. Into dungeons what you, old man, claim to be the magic. Down. On the left side, towards the center, is where your starting area is. Got it, okay. Uh, And you should all be there. Someone needs to declare an intent to have some light. I have a lantern, I can... Oh, here, I got it. I'm sorry, what'd you say? (laughs) I I can turn on my lantern. Okay. Okay. I will turn on your lantern for you. Um, No, I have dark vision. But you're the only one in the whole party. Yeah. I'm just so polite, I I bring a lantern with me always. Well, you can't read by dark vision, so... You want me to carry uh, the lantern, uh, Master Aldar? I couldn't possibly ask this of you, great Nicodemicus, but if needs be, I may rely on you to do that. Um, So, you see an open area below you. A floor, even. Um, The walls, the stone walls to either side of you are old. The stones have shifted over time and are uneven. You can definitely see that. Uh, Some of the stones have fallen. Okay, I just entered the room a bit. Okay, and... Look around. Okay, hang on just a minute. So you're entering the room. Yeah, and looking around. One moment. You can see a corridor that goes off to the south, and you will hold positions right now because I need to make some checks. No one is surprised. You hear a growl from off to your off to the right there to, to your to the south of you. You hear a definite growling noise that shades into a, a bird bird like screech, Ugh. and uh, everybody needs to roll for that initiative thing. Okay, uh, Nicodemus, I think I'll. Put my lantern down and let you carry it a bit. Okay, so you're going to park your lantern there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Armstrong has a six, Nicodemus has a six, and the monster that you can't see yet has a six. Who's doing what here? You guys waiting on it? Uh, What are you going to do? I'm going to step one square uh, forward and wait. Okay, so you move forward, and the monster moved forward, and it's got one. Armstrong moved 5, 10, 15, 20. So that is Armstrong's movement. The monster moved 10, 20, 25, right up to Aldar. And you have reach on the monster, and you have simultaneous initiative, so Aldar can strike first. Okay. Because your weapon reaches further than its core. Yeah, I have this. 11. No. And that does not hit. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> claw, claw, and bite. I don't want to move another oh, character. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, this is not good. We're about to lose Aldar. Oh, mother's going to be mad at me. So we got two claws. <laughs> and then we have the hug. Mm-hmm. So you're at minus six. Okay. The, the amazing thing is you are still in mostly one piece. So, you know, Armstrong was on six and made his move to there. And Nicodemus is on six and has not moved yet. Yeah, I'm uh, going to... Uh... Well, you guys can all go ahead and move now, so... Is there any way I can throw my maul at this thing? 
you can. I'm going to give you a minus. That's a non-proficient. Uh, minus, minus five on that. Anytime you're in a bad situation trying to do something wrong. Okay. Um, so, I, so yeah. normally plus four, so I'd be minus one. Yep. Minus one. Yeah, well, okay, so that missed. Clang off the wall. Uh, anybody rem with a rem remaining action, that would include Vernon, can go ahead and move. Nicodemus hasn't taken an action yet. He can do something. Uh, I think we need to get the heck out of here. Um, crap. You and uh, you and Nicodemus are the only ones with a move this round, so yeah, no. left. Yeah, I'm waiting to see what Vernon does. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to leave my buddy. I've lost... Uh, two close buddies recently and I don't want to lose a third so he's just going to be overly brave out of character and sprint to this corner and take a shot. Okay. Well, let's see. Wait, wait a minute now. Yeah, I can move 40 so it's good. Okay. That's not a sprint. Well. A sprint would be a double well, move. I, no, I, I just mean like you know, long move. You get over there and do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and take your shot. And it should be another plus one for this didn't, doesn't matter. Oh my god. Okay. Now I'm going to remind you that you did fight with and injure both of the owlbears before. This one appears does appear to have prior injury. So did the previous one. So um, you did actually damage these in the previous encounter. But it's not down. Nicodemus, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to uh, hold my action uh, unless I, uh, until I see the owlbear and then I'll cast uh, uh, light on his eyes. So we are looking at initiative again then you're holding it in the next round so you don't need to roll academic so armstrong and vernon great vernon's on three armstrong's on four and academicus is holding and the monster's on four okay so armstrong you are next in line as it were you threw away your maul what are you armed with now uh i pull out my great axe Okay. <laughs> well, I knew I had that weapon. The great axe gives you reach. Also, you've got a, You've got at least a three or four foot haft on that, so you can go ahead and take your attack. All right. Come on, big winner. You just are armed with all the fun toys, aren't you? Yeah, I thought. I, I thought he was unarmed now, but. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, why? Uh, I <laughs> either time. He's about to be unarmed and unlegged and unnecked. How about unhit? Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll take that. That's even better. Yeah, I, uh... Vernon, you have an action. Nicodemus is still holding. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... It looks like if Armstrong's gonna keep holding his ground, Nicodemus, you're never going to see Yeah, it. I'm gonna move back over to here and now shoot at him. Uh, that way I can keep uh, Nicodemus close to me. Also, you're plus two from behind. Okay, and and plus one for range as well, so plus three, which no, probably not gonna. Be. Twelve, you're still not gonna yeah. get. Okay. Tell that old uh, tough guy. The fire and... Yeah, I'll uh, I'll step forward uh, until I see him, which is can I see him here? Or? I would say you need to be right behind Vernon to see it. And I'll uh, yeah, I'll cast uh, light again on his uh, on his eyes. Okay, I rolled the saving throw, and it failed. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So, room is lit up now. Um, yeah, so there we go. Lots of light. So, hmm, yes. Yeah, it's a well-lit room now. Armstrong can plainly see what he's attacking, and that is the round, isn't it? Yes. It is the round. The monster has a minus two on its initiative now, so it's at two. There we go. So, Vernon, what you gonna do, man? Shoot that sucker. Jeez. Roll again. You're engaged. You, it's engaged with Armstrong. Oops, sorry. Wrong one. Mm -hmm. well, okay, you missed Armstrong, too. So you just cost yourself an arrow there. That's good. Okay, so it looks like um, Academicus, who probably is not going to do anything now, right? Uh, well, uh... No. No. I'll, okay. I'll move back. Okay, that's fine. So it's Armstrong's turn. Who feels like retreating? 
remember that you're plus four against this monster too. Oh, it um, fails. Uh, oh, I, I thought you meant uh, the the spell fail, but you meant the he failed the saving throw. It failed the saving uh, throw. Yeah, it's blind. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh right. yeah. Man. I thought that he missed, and that's why the room lit up because it hit the room and not him. No, it actually that actually is how it should work. But you were outdoors in the sunlight on the last one, so I didn't put a light on. Oh. I have saved the day again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't make that clear. That's guys. the case. I'm yeah, it, yeah. And the way I run it is the uh, if if you actually succeed on putting it on the eyes, it doesn't light outside the eyes. It just like blinds them. That's fine. That's a matter of of, yeah. uh, of the choice. Yeah, no, of the that's game fine. Master. This yeah, is how no, I've always fine. done it. So, okay, so nice. Let's have some damage yes. with that great axe. Damn. Heck yeah. You're not playing, boy. Mm. But it's not dead uh. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Aldar is looking pretty bad, by the way, at the beginning of the next round, which... Uh, oh, the monster's turn now. Mm. What's your AC? 17. That was one hit. From a claw. Ooh. Damn. You're still standing, but you Holy felt better. Holy crap, with the negative 4-2. Okay, so that's where you are at the beginning of the next round when we roll for initiative again. And again, the monster is minus 1, or minus 2, so it's a, it's a negative 2 initiative number at this point. <laughs> well, it's a good thing uh, Aldar healed him, right? Only 2 hit points. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a zero. Yeah, I'd be a zero. <laughs> You, you know, he's got a point there. Two hit points. You wouldn't <laughs> still be able to get in here. Yeah. Yeah. Vernon, what you going to do? Um, I see that my buddy is uh, in serious, serious trouble. And he is. yeah, and I, um, again, outside of my come up and run over with my hand, my plus one hand axe and go for attack from behind. Okay, now oh my oh. god. Okay, god. I'm telling you, you aren't supposed to roll that yet. Uh, First, you need to roll percentiles because I assume any sane thief is going to try to move silently. With a monster that can't see him, you'll get plus four and double damage. And I'm not going to make you stick with that one, even though you did roll before I told you to. Go ahead and roll percentiles first. Let's see if you can sneak up on him. Normally I'd roll this for you, but it's gonna be obvious whether you succeed or not, so I'm not I'm not worried about it. You succeeded. Okay, now roll your attack roll, and you have an additional plus four. I don't, plus I don't have to re-roll it. I did roll it. If I mean, I don't mind keeping that, but if you want me to re-roll it, I will. Yes, we want you to re-roll it. <laughs> well, I mean, it, to me, I rolled the dice, so it's. You did, and I'm letting you off on it this time. I probably won't next time. Yeah, that's. Um, double I don't expect you to, so it's no problem. Double damage. Okay. Oh my god, I'm rolling so bad. Four points, huh? Yeah. Okay, and let's see. That was Vernon. Academicus didn't take have an action, and Armstrong is slower than Vernon, so it's Armstrong's turn. Yeah. Attack or run away? Gonna go ahead and go down with the ship here. I put faith in my own abilities. Let's see if they pay off. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh my. At least you got him. exactly a stellar result, but you did succeed. Okay, immediately oh. I turn to uh, my boy here and wrap up his wounds. And that's the next round, so he's at minus nine. He's as far down the hole as you can get. Yeah, so I'll stabilize him. Okay, so you've taken care of, of Aldar, though he is definitely not feeling well. Father, is that you? <laughs> not yet. No, buddy. I Come believe... on, we need to get out of here. Yeah, I believe uh, there are two things uh, now at play. One, I have again saved the day, and two, we need to get out of here and rest. Yeah, all right. Save it. We need to get out of here. Let's go. Yeah. So, uh, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point something out to you guys before you, before you advance out of the room. I'm going to actually point it out to you by doing this. That's a door. Oh. Okay. Wow. 
So just in case you didn't notice that. So going to try to get back to the uh, to the cabin without a without a random encounter, I assume, right? Um, well, 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 well. Uh, I did not know there was a door there. If that place is, uh, we could conceal ourselves there. That would be, be at least saving us the risk of encountering some other ferocious beasts on the way to the village. Because the village is like a half a day's uh, travel from here, right? Or days travel? The village is a village is a full day. Yeah, we were uh, talking about the cabin. Oh, okay, yeah. But I mean, I can listen at the store before we leave if you want. Vernon, as you go up to the door and press your ear against it, the door moves. It squeals loudly, but it moves. It moves. It's open. It's open. So it moved by itself? No, it moved when you put your ear, ear against it. Oh. And it squealed. It's great. Okay, so I'll back up and draw my bow. <laughs> Are you like an well, apprentice after a thief? Bit at the door, <laughs> nothing comes through the door. Okay, so I'll peek my head in there and see what's in there. You're going to open it up then? Yeah, I got just enough to pop my head in and see what's behind it. You notice that the far wall has some kind of an inscription on it. And you see staircases leading down into the shadows in both directions. It's as far as you can see with the light you're working with. Sir uh, Nicodemus, you mind stepping forward a tad so I can see these in the light? Actually, I haven't put a light on him yet because I had still had it down on Aldar, who's probably not feeling so good. Now, I have said all along that a uh, that a uh, badly injured character can't do anything useful, but actually, I can't see a good reason in the world why a badly injured character couldn't carry a the lantern uh, sitting right there. Lantern. Yeah, he's still got an X on him. Oh, you think I should take the X off? He's not dead. He's not dead yet. Okay, well, I guess I'll Don't do condemn that. him already. <laughs> Since you seem to think he's... Uh, so can I do anything? You can uh, move at half speed, and that is basically it, but I will allow you to carry the lantern if you want to. Literally, stub your toe and you're dead. Just come a little closer, if you would, so I can take a look at these inscriptions that I see. <laughs> so I'll... Uh, asking for a lot of bravery from him. I'll peek uh, up and down the... Do you have down. any... Do you have any special facility with language? No, just uh, halfling and um, human, or halfling and common. The, there's uh, three lines of text on the written on the wall in some kind of runic form. It looks vaguely familiar, but you really don't know what it means. Okay, so I'll gander up and down these uh, two passages. Do I see? You need light. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just so slow because I feel dumb. Aldar is uh, obviously a very gutsy fellow. Here he is about to fall down dead, and he's still going around lighting the way. For yeah, well, we want to just want to find a, a, a place where I can record a bit. Oh, this does not seem to be the place. Yeah, uh, yeah. Does, that, does that language mean anything to you, Nicodemus? Oh, great arch mage. It really doesn't, um, Nicodemus. You think you've seen runes like that before, but that was not part of any area of study that you ever had, so. All right, boys, I say we go back and rest at the cabin. Yeah, I agree. You guys going to go back to the cabin? I, uh, I'll help uh, all our, uh, I'll support all our uh, as best as possible. Okay, so let's see if you have any random encounters. I'll go over here and roll real quick. If we do, we are running from them. Well, guess what? You are able to return to your cabin safely. I'm just going to lay down here. You guys, you guys should go ahead and mark off a day's rations at this point. Yeah, okay. Well, we don't actually need to because there's tons of rations in this cabin from them. So. Uh, not tons. I believe I said five days last time. Which basically means all you guys get a meal and there's one left over. I'll uh, definitely take that offer. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, so um, you guys are resting up in there. And so you're going to rest. 
since the only healer you have is Aldar, and Aldar has to heal at a normal rate, it's going to take five days of full rest to get him back up to one. So you spend five days doing that. Armstrong will gain five hit points in that time frame. So we put him up to one. And Armstrong gains... Well, actually, Armstrong would gain ten hit points because he's able to take full rest. Also, Ooh. nothing ever disturbs you when you're in this cabin. Whatever Keld had going on here, it was pretty potent magic because you don't even have mice bothering your rations while you're in here. Hmm. So this is the morning of the sixth day after you ventured into the dungeon. Aldar wakes up, finally healthy enough to pray for spells. Okay, I, um, I use them on myself both. Okay. So it's 2d6 plus 2. Plus 2. Mm -hmm. I just... <laughs> oh, no. 3 plus 2, 5. So I'm on 6. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, so that does... Now, a couple of other things. Um, Nicodemicus, you have time, and you have spell books. Oh, yes. You guys have a list of what's in those spell books? Because you've got five days to study if you want to. In my spellbook. And spellbook. while that's going on, something else is going to happen, too. Right after I divide this number. Oh. How does it work again uh, with uh, spellbook studying? Well, it's in the rule book. And as everybody's pointing out to me, I'm forgetting how my rules work. Although I will tell you that I am a little more liberal here than the rule book actually says. Well, I forgot every, uh, every wizard knows read magic, right? Now, the standard rule says that you have to pay 500 gold pieces per spell level transcribed. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you can learn uh, spells by researching another magic user spell book at a rate of one day per spell level. Generally speaking, I'm, I'm quite a bit more gentle about the costs of that stuff uh, as what I wrote in the game rules. The game rules are literally, literally written to mimic an older game specifically. But the question is, you know... What can you learn out of a spell book? And the short answer, as far as I'm concerned, is is that if you can read a spell book, which you can, you've got Read Magic, um, you can't use Read Magic until the next day. So you actually have four days to study spells. You can pick up four first-level spells. But before you do that, I'm going to point out to you that you have um, fought monsters and then retreated to a place of safety. You know what that means. No. XP. Yep. Hang on a minute. While well, I archive the dead guys to get them off the list. I hadn't done that yet. Okay, so uh, Nicodemicus is a human. So, so the first thing you're probably going to want to do is roll that extra hit die because you just gained a level. Yes. Okay. Yes. Dang, nice. I'll let you take care of your own hit points. Do -do -do -do. Oh, you have a constitution bonus. That's why your hit points. I was trying to figure out why your hit points were so high. Yeah, plus That's one. Why. Okay. So, you are up a level. Your attack bonus is still the same as it was because you're a magic user and your attack bonus will suck from now on. Um, you have acquired access to a second level spell. Ooh. So, you have four days. You can pick two new second level spells or four new first level spells or two and one if you prefer. Two first and a second. Out of the spell books you have available to you. Well, out of one of the spell books you have available to you. Uh, well, actually, I guess you could do Read Magic twice on the first day. So, yeah, okay. There's How many spell books do you actually have access to at this point? Well, I only have uh, uh, Theodore's spell book because uh, Aurel's spell book is uh, in Falco's, uh, in my oh. tent in <laughs> Falco's camp. So you just have Theodore's spell book. But still, anything yeah. Theodore had in, in the first level category, you should be able to uh, to get. I guess I trust him enough now to let him take my friend's spell book. But... Um, didn't didn't you guys steal somebody's spell book along the way? I'm sorry, looted off of a dead body, something like that. I I mean I had everybody's stuff, and like I tabulated it. It took me hours to get that spreadsheet right based on everybody's stuff, and I I only had um the one spell book, and then there's two spell scrolls, but I don't. Okay. 
they were just written as or they were written as um scroll cases actually two scroll cases but that's oh, those, not... those are those are empty scroll cases literally yeah so there's there's only one spell book in that okay, stash so bring the cabin is what you is what you've got that in right yeah bring and the those, cabin and there should have been all go ahead there, there should also be a scroll dk30 yeah but uh that's um not in the cabin that I Oh, yeah, okay. And while we're on the subject, going through the collection of things you brought back to the uh, brought back to the cabin, there's an ink bottle which is you un- is unidentified and labeled weird. Yeah, that was just what Th- Theodore had in his thing. He said weird. Academicus so. thinks he's seen bottles like that before. He thinks it's scroll ink. Hmm. Oh, uh-huh. which would cut having a, having a bottle of it would cut the costs of making a scroll. Well, that's useful. I was like, oh, "What is this?" I almost didn't take it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, looking down the list, two empty scroll cases, huh? Looking down the list, um, I don't see the other spell book I was imagining. Obviously, maybe either it's back at Falco's or you didn't actually have one like I thought you did. So either way, doesn't matter. So. You can. I guess you're not going to be able to learn any second level spells because Theodore didn't have any. Yeah. But I can yeah, learn. Uh, do you have a list of Theodore spells? Oh, uh, but I, I know them. Uh, I know them. Uh, can I learn uh, two first level spells? Can I learn up to four? Okay, then I'll. Back I'll in learn. the day, just to, just to tell you how this works. Back in the day, when I say back in the day, I mean 1982. Okay, we were running the game. Um, using the BX rules, and we um, didn't have that game kind of lacked clear guidance about how much spells cost to learn and so forth. And I pretty much just let player characters share spells out of their out of their spellbooks with each other, more or less at will. And I kind of do that in my regular games too. So I do that. That's the way I do it. I don't do the like the the X or the um. XP or gold cost. I just make them take time. It just takes a lot of time. Well, yeah. Sleep, hold, portal, magic, missile. Looks like the spells you had down for Theodore. And I see you've already added added onto your, your selection. Yeah. And because you don't have a second level spell, you're memorizing, memorizing a first. That makes good sense. I like that. Okay. So, um, you have leveled. That's great. I need to finish everybody else's experience points, make sure everybody else is up to date. Well, one thing, this uh, shows just how brutal the game is. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, here you are, you head into the dungeon and you immediately have a guy go down, so. I lost your wits. I was just saying, it uh, shows how vicious the game actually is, that uh, you guys had one go down as soon as you walked in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but on the other hand, that's also why uh, a little encounter such as an owlbear uh, really, uh, it, it starts to live in your imagination. Eh? Those elbows are really, uh, f- really ferocious, uh, larger than life enemies now, and in, in, uh, I think that's uh, that's uh, that goes hand in hand with the deadliness. You will not forget what owlbears are like. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, yes. um, when we left off, everybody was getting experience points. Everybody now has some experience points. Armstrong has not gained a level yet. Nicodemicus did, though. Oh, I didn't even check mine. Vernon and Armstrong and Aldar have all gained, and I think Vernon is not too far away, if you take a look at his... Yeah, I'm behind everybody. Well, yeah, but you're not that far from your next level. Yeah. So you're not doing too bad. So, it is the, as I say, it was the morning of the sixth day. And Aldar has healed himself with his full spell load and is still below half. Armstrong is at 12. I'll give you two more if you guys want to spend another day. Sure. Get some more health back. Rest all day, rest all night. But you have consumed, that'll mean seven, I mean six days. So you'll have gone through six days of rations. I mean... There was 19 rations, I mean, left over from the other. Was there? Yeah, I mean, oh, the I, guys. Yeah, That's right. yeah, I counted everybody's I'm rations sorry, and pulled them together and brought them back. When you were talking about what was left, I was thinking you were talking about what uh, what Keldwirl left in the... No, I picked up everybody's rations and counted every single one. Yeah. Okay, so... There was 19 just off of them. 
So 24, four of you, that would be six days. The five that, were, that I said was in the cabin plus what you brought in. So, yeah, so you guys you guys haven't even dipped into your own rack yeah, uh, for this last week. But you've, you've now consumed all the excess. Yeah. So, as I say, you're on the uh, sixth day. If you want to go to the seventh day, and I counted that, I'll, you can put two more points on Aldar, two more points on Armstrong, and then you guys, Aldar will have a full spell load again. And... You guys can go dungeoning if you want to, or whichever way you want to go at this point. I don't know. I am the the only other one uh, capable of hand to hand combat, and maybe I should heal myself first. But I don't want to spend all my spells doing that. If anybody else needs them, if you go, if you could two more. Yeah, days. you could have done it yesterday and cast them. And then yeah, I thought. Well, he did. He did. Yeah. That was the yeah. first day he could get spells. He did that. And then you can go, if you go two more days, that'll put four points back on Armstrong and four points plus whatever back on Aldar, which will probably get him back to fully healed. And you'll have a full load of spells. You just each need to pony up two more days of rations. Assuming I'm not hunting. <laughs> but yeah. Well, if you want to do hunting, um, tell you what. It's, I'm not worried about it. Let's worried. get to your dungeon. No, that's fine. Whatever you want to do. No, that's fine. We'll figure it out later. Okay. Hunt now or hunt then. It doesn't hurt. Hunt now or hunt later. It doesn't matter. So, Aldor, why don't you roll? Why don't you roll two more healing spells? Yeah, two d six plus uh, plus two, two seven plus two, nine. Okay, seventeen, right? Yep. So I'm I'm at seventeen. Okay, so that means the morning of the ninth day, and you guys have used two days of rations each, and everyone is fully healed except Armstrong, who's only down one hit point. Well, thank you, my friends, for uh, letting me uh, eat your rations. Uh, Normally, I would prepare a feast using my spells, but uh, all my equipment is currently in an extra-dimensional pocket that I am unable to access at the moment. God, I wish I could roll a. I wish I could roll a bluff check on you. Um, this is the old school. You can just say that's a load of crap if you want to. Well, I could roll for it and know for sure. <laughs> Three five. All right, let's get going. You don't need. You don't need to roll for it. You're pretty sure. Okay, Armstrong. I don't trust this guy. Um, he's definitely. Oh, on the other hand. On the other hand, his light spell did save the day twice. Yeah, Aldar, uh, being as wise as he is, always trusts Nicodemus. <laughs> that inscription on the wall is kind of calling to you. You guys are all very curious about it. Yeah, I was I was going to ask it uh, first. Uh, does uh, Nicodemus and Aldar uh, know something about uh, the history of the the town that could explain the dungeon? The history of the town is interesting. You guys are, and I, I don't actually have the name of this village in front of me. It's not on the map you looked at earlier. You guys are living in a village that is about a mile off of the old Borderlands Road. It is more remote from civilization than the village of Verge. And Verge is remote. Verge is literally on the verge. It's right on the edge of Roslane. It is at one end of the old border road. And you guys are even further out from civilization than that, in a way, anyway. Um, You're not actually quite as close to Roslane, but you are further by road from any other settlement except for Verge itself or a longer way around back to Kendall Keep. So you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Everybody who lives in the village came there to live to avoid something. Yes. Exactly what it varies from person to person. So we have to question what Nicodemus is doing there. Aldar, at least, was born in the village. The village has only been there for maybe a hundred years, but it was built on the ruins of a much older village. You are actually, I say civilization, you aren't too far away from the abbey. And I'll find the name of the abbey if I need it at some point. But but there is an abbey out on the old border road that is Specifically, I mean, it's a, it, it's a, I must say Abbey, it's a monastery, sorry, out on the old border road that is very remote, and that's by design. Wars have been fought all around it, and it's never been disturbed. Mm. 
other than a haunting that happened there a couple of years ago that was kind of a story that went around for a while, nobody even talks about it. So, yeah, you guys are in the middle of nowhere. Well, what do we uh, want to do? Uh, young Master Vernon, you're the youngest. Uh, what do your nerves uh, say you can handle today? Um, well, I thought I, uh, I thought you guys were coming here to take out these things. Yes, but... Uh, I guess I'm confused because I thought you guys were, had been tasked to handle the owlbear threat and you are nervous about this. No, not at all. Uh appears that uh, Aldor and myself, of course, uh, we have handled the threat and uh, the village is now safe. I was just merely expressing some professional, professional curiosity at the runes uh, in the dungeon that we found. Oh, not... If there were, if there were in fact, only two of them. Oh, I'm, I'm glossing over yeah, that. Sure. <clears throat> All there was was I just about to ask Academicus to, to, to cast some spells to learn if there were any more of these beasts out in the wild. Well, I mean, we were attacked by, what, two or three, and then we killed one. There's at least one more out there. Oh, oh, there, w there was a third, uh, you mean? Well, maybe, actually, no, because we killed uh, one in the woods, and then we killed one inside. So, yeah, there was two. Potentially, potentially that's all of them, but there could be more. Hmm. Yeah, well, right. I'm, we could go. I'm, uh, what do you yeah. think, uh, Armstrong? Uh, I am certainly up for the task. I I want to go there and uh, and and explore more. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But that's just oh. what I want. Let us proceed. So is that the plan? Then? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We're just doing okay. it. <laughs> Quick roll over here. You are in luck. Because you did not, in fact, encounter anything. Now, um, let's get you guys back in the corner. Let me get myself back over here. Back in the entrance. Okay. So you guys need to be back at the entrance. And there we are. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, so Aldar has a lantern at this point. He barely lit it before you guys evacuated the dungeon last time. So you've still got plenty in it. Okay. Uh, plenty of oil in it. Okay, so I just uh, rush in like the previous time and get killed take again. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Just don't. You gotta be. I know you're wearing heavier armor, but we've got to be quiet here. Let me go a little first here. The only problem is I cannot see in the dark, so you have to give me a second. Um, do you want? So... Do, do you want my my lantern? No, I, I I'd rather get... I'd rather not uh, have the light on me. That's what drives me nuts. Um, so I'm just going to come over here and is there anything, we didn't actually search this room at all. I mean, no, the room is, uh, as I said, the rock, the, the stones of the walls are all a little dislocated. Like it's all moved over the years, possibly heaved in cold weather. Okay. Um, but it's still mostly standing that yeah. rock in the corner that you just stepped on is a, is a piece out of the ceiling okay. that has fallen. Yeah. And there are some yeah. debris in the other corner that's the same. Oh, there. Go back over there. Let me look. Let me uh, sneak around here for a bit before. But the you... beast came from that hallway. We should. We should check if, if okay. there's anything else down there. All right. Well, I'll do a listen then. Uh, just see if I can hear anything down that corridor. Okay. You do not hear anything down. There. I don't hear anything. Do you want to go then? Yes. You seem very brave. Just like Wait. your father. I I'll, I'll try to. Well, I, I can't go very quietly because I'm wearing steel armor, but... That's correct. Let's just... If if I don't come back to my mother, please tell her I love her. Tell her I... <laughs> tell her about uh, my father, that she knows what happened to him. He's actually got dark vision, so we don't even need to follow him with the light immediately. Yeah. Except that he has the light. Oh, yeah, that's have, right. Unless you passed it off, I didn't catch I, I, I just have... I just room. have the light so that you can see. Against the far wall of this room, right about this area, yeah, you see the room is otherwise basically empty. The walls even appear to be in better shape than the first room. Uh, but you see what can only be described as a huge bird's nest um, lying on the floor up against the wall there. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, it sticks, leaves, and straw, in the middle of which you see three very large eggs, all of which are broken. 
Oh my god. As you look closer, you think you see glittering in the nest. As if shiny bits of something were scattered around within the material the nest is made of. The nest is otherwise uh, there's there's no no trace of, of any living being in the in the nest. No. No, the room has a, a bit of a strong odor. The owl bears have a strong odor. Uh, something has removed the body of the owl bear, by the way, so it's no longer in that first room. Okay. But yeah, this in this room you don't see any signs of any anything alive. Okay, so I I call the others, and so they 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 can judge uh, by themselves what what is this this uh, nest made of. Nicodemus, please advise us. I'll use my hunting knowledge that I know about uh, any wild animals to throw in anything that I might know. It strikes you um, as a as a uh, someone who lives in the wild that these are owls and bears, and they live in a nest underground. It actually makes sense if you think about it. <laughs> Examining the nest closer, you see a copper coin, and then you see another, and then silver coin, and you realize that there's coins. You're actually standing in the nest right now. Yeah. There's coins scattered around in the in the nest throughout the material it's made of. You know that some birds collect shiny things, and you wonder if the owl bears have collected significant treasure and buried, <coughs> buried it in, in their nest. But you literally have to dig through it if you want to find the contents. Yeah, they uh, guys, um, definitely owl bear here uh, nest. But if you look, there's a bunch of coins in here. Do we want to take any of these coins or check it later? I, I'm worried about the. The broken eggs. I don't know what my father would think of it if I well, killed the families. Uh, well, listen here, Aldar. You see how much trouble these owl bears have given us? If you let them grow big, they're going to cause more trouble. You take them out now, and it's much easier, and do everyone a good favor. Now, come on. Yes, I, I'm just having thoughts about it. Well, I'm having thoughts about your father being torn to shreds by these foul beasts, and I don't like yeah. it. He died just yeah. like he wanted to. He didn't buy it. Uh, I doubt that. But... <laughs> I'm very confused by this guy. <laughs> I'm going to listen at this door. Um, and I have a, I believe, a 43. Armstrong, you have fallen behind. Oh! Oops, sorry. That was, yeah. You were meant to do that. Sorry. 43. Yeah. Yep. And you are listening. Yep. And you hear yep. nothing behind the door. I don't hear anything. Sounds clear. Uh... Armstrong, did you want to get up there and maybe open that door? Yeah, I'll give it a try. Watch how my friend Armstrong yeah. does this. He's a beast. Uh, the door is stuck. Yeah, watch him. He'll, t he'll take that out, no problem. I expect no less. Well, you did, in fact, open yeah, the door. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Mm. Beyond, you see a landing at the top of a staircase, which is as far as you can see. But looking into the room, you see, as the ceiling, of course, descends also where the staircase is, a section of the ceiling has fallen away, exposing a an array of small holes. Quite a lot of them in the ceiling, almost like in the yeah in the ceiling, but they're angled. It's an angled section of ceiling, and the small holes are pointed more or less at you. At a glance, you would say they look like they might be I don't know blow tubes. Uh, don't step in there. He looks and he sees what is obviously yeah there. yeah. Do not step in here. Okay. Um. How far, so that's as far, that's still going down to there. Yeah, you're seeing it in the ceiling as it begins to descend. Oops, sorry. Are they like here or here or, or there? Okay. Yep. Where the ceiling begins to descend. It's at, it, it's angled, so it's 40, 40 some degrees more or less. So it's kind of, the, the tubes are facing towards you. It looks like there was a section of um, ceiling material that, obscured the holes so you wouldn't see them that has fallen away and exposed them. right okay mm. so there's probably in my experience there's probably a plate trap and we need to watch our footing let me go first and i'll use my i'm gonna go all the way at the edge as far over like tiptoe across and um you guys need to back up a little bit and let me Do get you through the no i'm it, the door's open so i can see a bit and then um, so I'm going to tiptoe along the edge of the wall. So I'm all the way at the edge of the wall. You feel a section of the floor descend and click. There's a kind of a grinding, squealing noise as it does. Like the mechanism is, is grungy. You brace yourself for a hail of darts, but nothing happens. 
I think the trap has been either broken or it has been triggered already. But uh, mm. we still need to be careful because there could be more. Um, so as I walk, um, I'm ta using the end of my bow to tap the square ahead of me as I keep going. I'm just kind of prodding in front. Okay. Looking for um, the staircase. The staircase does not seem to be a pressure trap of any sort. As you get up there to it, you're able to see just a little bit further down from the light from Aldar. That's as far as you can see. Okay, I follow him, just uh, trying to step only the places he stepped on. Vernon, you can hear behind you a, a, a faint grinding noise, uh, and then it stops, and the grinding goes the other way. The same sound it made when you stepped on it. Aldar, you feel the floor descend beneath you, and then there's a click. Okay, there was... No hail of darts comes out at you. No. It was a large plate. Okay. It's, it's, it is the full 10 by 10 space. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm looking up uh, from where plate. I'm at now. Is there still more holes out, out here, or does it look like coast is clear? No, the, there was just that one block, uh, an array of, of uh, let me see, it was 52 holes. Okay. Five, five rows in alternate, of alternating length. Holy. 10, 11, 10, 11, 10. Still be careful, guys. Uh, it would be a lot of darts yeah. if it, if it if can. If you, uh, if you can, just jump over that, just to be sure. Try not to uh, press that and just take our chances. They could just be stuck. Mm. You see that below you, a section of the wall has collapsed. And there is water puddled on the floor. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Can we see any water dripping from anywhere above or seeping through the walls or anything? You don't really see anything like that. The puddle appears to be more or less static. You do think you hear a dripping off in the distance somewhere, though. Okay. So is this um is this stuff here? Is that the like standing water or is that rubble? And that is standing water. Oh, okay. The oh, thicker okay. the thicker lines thicker lined got objects it. are stones. Yeah, got it. Okay. Thinner lines show where the water is. Got it, okay. Normally I would uh, cast a simple levitation spell to uh, get me across, but uh, seeing as I'm an uh, older gentleman, could uh, one of you please uh, assist me while I try to jump? I'll assist him. What are you... What is, He's going to give him a boost. He He's just trying to jump over that just to make sure that... So, let me get this straight. Is Armstrong going to throw Nicodemus 10 feet? Yeah, he's going to try to just help him jump over that uh, that one square. Um, Vernon, I want to point this out to you. Where Armstrong is standing now is part of the the trap. The trap runs the entire 10 foot from this corner diagonal to to this corner. Oh. Whole oh. space right here. You, you can see there's a, a darker, Got it. slightly darker line. Wait a minute, there. Nicodemus. I don't think you're making it across here, so uh, you're going to have to just cross your fingers there, Chief. Mm. The floor makes that grinding noise, and the plate begins to come back up, and then Armstrong steps on it. It goes right back down. Okay. It's going down quicker now, though. Apparently, uh, Armstrong's weight loosened up the mechanism. Oh, great. But no hail of darts comes out to destroy either Armstrong or Nip Nicodemus. So. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. So I also, I also make the way across. Okay, okay so I'm going to kneel down at this, um, this on the ground and just give it a quick sniff and make sure it doesn't smell like anything uh, off. It's like stagnant water okay. in an underground. Okay. Um, Guys, it's just water, I believe. Uh, should be fine if you get it on you. Um, I'm going to move. So you guys stay here for a minute, okay? I'm I gonna, just follow you from a safe distance just to light it up. Don't go in the water. Let me go first. So I'm going to walk tippy-toe, move silently over to um, this, this rock that's there. So you slog through there getting water in your boots. It's up to your knees since your knees aren't very high. Do I need to roll a move silently? Or you're doing that? That's right. No. 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 You uh, you, you go over there as quietly as you're able to. Okay. It's still water. So this is all still water. Yeah. Okay. Guys, it's um, it's it's pretty wet here. It keeps going on water. Do we want to go this way or do we want to try those stairs? I would like to see the scriptures. The... Okay. All right. Well, if you want to go back, then uh, we can go take a look. But um, this way seems to be water. Nicodemus, would you like to go first on the the moving plague? Just um, yes, uh, I think that might be uh, might be best. Okay, you were able to cross without difficulty. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go. do it. 
And I'm going to try to... All right, well, I'm going to... As I'm going across this thing, I'm going to grab onto the walls and try to take weight off of my feet and try to put some onto my hands as I kind of shuffle, trying to pull my weight on the walls, on my fingertips. Okay. And I get across. Well, you made it across also without any loss of life or hit points. All right. Well, I guess the, the, the hallway is clear. Uh, it seems to be. Do you want to hear? Because I am worried that this may be a whole colony of our birds. So do you want to hear around that corner? I mean, I can. Uh, but let me just come up to here and take a listen at these uh, end of this corridor. Okay, you uh, listen and you don't hear anything. It's very, very quiet here. Sounds clear, guys. All right, you want to take another look at the scripture then? Yeah, maybe... The inscription. The, the scripture on the world. So, Nicodemus, you've fallen behind. Old man. Thought you might want to know you're in the dark, so... He's just hobbing along in the back, old man. Old age. <laughs> He was he was he was off uh, lost in his own thoughts. Right? Yeah, I, I get distracted. Okay. So Aldar is looking at the inscription. The, the the printing just looks extremely familiar to you. How intelligent are you? Not much. Not much. Huh? Oh, t- ten out of ten. Well, you know what? That was a darn good die roll. Okay, you, uh, you you puzzle over it for a little bit, and you're finally able to translate it. Oh my god. Uh, I really it think. says what? No, no, I meant just roadway. The uh the language seems to be a combination of an archaic version of common and words plucked out of Elvish um and spelled badly. But as you uh, as you're able to read it finally, you, you you make out what it says. Here lie the mortal remains of the first kings of Adri who forged an undying kingdom. First king, Sephardi. Okay, we're in a tomb. Now what? Yes, now what, people? Nicodemus, do you know anything about this uh, undying kingdom of Adri? Nicodemus has never heard of Adri before. None of you have. I am an expert. Must have been a very long time ago. I am an expert. And they were so obviously very full of themselves. I'm an expert in these matters, but uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's eluding me at the moment. Well, this is most unfortunate. Uh, I, as I think about it, I think the choice here is uh, obvious. We either go left or we go right. Yes. I got a bad feeling about this, but I'll follow what you guys decide. I, I am intrigued about this this left corridor, this left. Uh, stairs because there's there seems to be something in the end here it seems it, it looks like small small room well, if, if matters such as these intrigue you then my mage star would be uh which would be a, a nice uh, challenge for you but let's uh, do mage tower okay where is your mage tower i should like to see it one day mm. Yes, as as would I, but I have sadly lost it. Seems like you've lost everything. Yes, it's your skills, story. your spells. I have I have told you your about tower. the tower. Yes, yes. Uh, can I check for traps or anything like that? That's really more Vernon's yeah. area. Everyone can check for traps. If you want to, you need to go into whatever area yeah, you want. Yeah, at this point, Vernon is very area. reluctant to be in this place. Uh, so... Yeah, I'll just check for traps in here. Vernon does not find any traps. Okay, okay so, so I, I step in here and I, I look into this room. Uh, do I see anything out of the ordinary? Or you, you don't. You're not really sure what the point of the alcove is. It looks like there may have been a door. It may have actually been a room at some times, a small 10 by 10 cell. But uh, so much of the structure has crumbled of the door frame that you're not sure if there was actually a door there, if it was an archway. Okay, and, and it's clear. Okay, I'll listen up. 
the store for 43. Uh, coming in, going in. Okay, so you're going to listen at that door, and you do not hear anything. Armstrong, I don't hear anything. It's quiet as a tomb. Mm. Well, you want me to do my thing? Show them how it's done, Armstrong. Nice. You are having much better luck opening doors than usual. Yeah. Impressive. Okay, so you can see part of a room on the other side. The room on the other side of the door looks much like the one you just came through. It's a little damaged. The walls are a little disordered, uh, as if you know things have shifted over years. Aldar has moved into a position where he can see more of the room, yeah. so I must show him more of the room. I'm just watching our backs here. Would you like to come uh, first? Standing, that's about as far any traps, any other plagues on in the floor that may still be working? I mean, yeah. Is Aldar going to continue standing where he is? Yeah, I want to. I, I want to. Uh, Wait until I, I know there are no traps. Okay, so you're going to let Vernon check for traps. Vernon goes into the room and begins examining the floor for traps, and then he sees movement at the ceiling. Something oh. caught his attention and made him look up, just in time to see oh. two amazingly camouflaged spiders as they're beginning to leap towards him. But... Because he was not surprised, despite the fact that they have a really good chance of getting surprised, everybody gets to roll that magic initiative. Aldar, Armstrong, Nicodemus, Vernon. Ah, here we go. <laughs> You're not going to get caught off guard by any spiders, are you? Okay. Um, so, what you going to do, Vernon, since you seem to be the fast guy in the party? Back the heck up. Um... Where, where is there? So there are four. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll um. If I come to here, am I able to shoot through at this angle between them? Mm, let's see. Yeah, you can shoot at that. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot at that one. Looks like you're even in plus one range. Oh, nice. That is a hit. Boom. Dang. Mm. You are not playing around. Didn't kill it, but great. Okay, no, um, that was in a spider experience. experience. This looks different from the other spider that we had fought before. These spiders, these spiders are the exact gray of the of the walls and the floor and the ceiling. They are the exact color of the stone. You think you even see the texture of the stone imprinted on their skin? Wow. Okay. They are they are natural naturally camouflaged. Nicodemus would be next, and Aldar. Yes, I say these are not all bears, and I I'm going to wait to fight them if they approach. Nicodemus. Yes, you are indeed correct that these are not all bears, but no worries. <laughs> I have a spell for this. I suggest you cover your. They're just. They're just three foot long spiders, that's all. I suggest you all cover your Not ears because I will cast a power word kill. And I cast sleep here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's hilarious. Okay, power word kill. Huh? <laughs> I don't think that's even the spell of this game. No, I, I'm just remembering a second edition uh, AD&D, I think. That's okay. Okay, that was Nicodemus on six, and the Aldar's holding an action. Armstrong's on three. The monsters are on four. It means the monsters get to move first. There's only one monster being the other falls off the, of the ceiling onto the floor with a thump. You killed it. Nicodemus. I think you, yeah, you killed it with your power word kill. I indeed have. Well done. I was beginning to think that your spells were full of crap. <laughs> oh, they are full of power. Um, you're holding an action and you have reach, Aldar, so go ahead and take an attack. Okay. Not good. No, that's not going to do it. Okay, so... What's your armor class, Aldar? 16. 
Yeah, that's not a hit. That's the monster's action. That means it is now Armstrong's turn. Okay, I am going to move right next to Alder, and well, I guess right there, we'll say. And attack that one. Okay. Hmm. Not Armstrong's day. That's it for the round. Oh my. Ooh. Okay, so Aldar and Nicodemicus, I still need Armstrong and Vernon. There we go. Okay, so I've got a two, four, five, and a five. The monster is first. Looks like it is more threatened by Armstrong. He is a pretty threatening guy. But it missed him, so it is now your turn. Armstrong and Aldar, since you're close, I'm assuming you want to go ahead and take your actions. Besides which, you are, well, Aldar's slow, but Armstrong's fast, so I guess Armstrong should go first. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to stick on this one and hope I have better results. Nice. I'd call that better results. That's a hit. Definitely. Five points of damage. It's still going, but hey, that's pretty good. And then Aldar's on two. Uh, Vernon, are you going to move up and attack yep, or, gonna, or hold your position? Yeah, I'm going to come over to uh, here. Are you going to shoot it? Um. Yeah, pr- you know what? Probably not. I think they probably have this under control. But um, I'm going to... Yeah, because they're both in the way at this point. I don't think I could... I couldn't get an angle in there if I moved somewhere right. Nicodemicus, you gonna do anything? No, I'll uh, I'll hold. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, yeah I'm just gonna hold my bow ready just to make sure nothing can run through to uh, me or Nicodemicus. Okay, I strike then with my mace plus one, and no hit. Then that is it. Armstrong and. Nicodem- well, Nicodemus is holding an action from the last round, so it doesn't matter. Armstrong's on two. Monster goes first, sticks with Armstrong as its opponent. Mm. And does not hit him. I would be Aldar and Vernon, and then Armstrong. So, Aldar, I guess you're next. Yeah. 23. Four points of damage. Boom. Still kicking, or whatever it is that they do. Um, Armstrong's on two. Since Vernon's holding back also, go ahead, Armstrong. All right. That's a hit. Yeah. Got them all into this thing and doing some damage. Bam. Well done. Oh, well done. It's oh. it's guts scattered around the floor, kind of smearing it. Okay, so I'll step over that, and I'll just take a look, uh, see if there's anything else in here. Look up in the ceiling. Aldar, you don't see anything else on the ceiling. Aldar needs to enter the room to get you light. Okay. Well, perhaps one of you could uh, uh, see to the the other spider. It appears yeah, my know. spell... Oh, it is also dead. That spider, that spider fell to the floor. He had one hit point. Huh. Never mind. What were you going to say there? What were you saying there, Nicodemus? I'm more powerful than even I could realize. Behold my power. Yeah. It's kind of hard to downgrade my spells to something that is uh, still uh, a challenge for us all here. Well, lives are at stake here. I'm not in for a challenge. I want to get home. If Vernon keeps saying he wants to get home, but he keeps hanging out with these guys that uh, that go down into dungeons, kill foul monsters, and try to loot the dungeon. You, well, he was in for Falco's dungeon. Oh, and that, I am and so that, sorry. I forgot this. No, he, he wanted to loot Falco's dungeon a little bit to uh, get a little bit of loot for his family, but then we got teleported to, middle of nowhere, this other dungeon. <laughs> so, so he wants to go through that dungeon to get back, is all. Hey, guys. This is most interesting. Oh. I was just thinking, uh, if this is a place uh, where kings were buried, then uh, I would assume there's also a king's treasury here. Yes, you're looking through 
rusty ancient bars, a gate, in fact, set into the wall. The bars are not just rusty, they are solid rust, it looks like. Badly pitted and damaged, but yet very thick, so might not might not be the easiest thing in the world to open, but yep, the bars are there. And you can see in the light of Aldar's lantern on the other looking through the, looking into the next room you can see that there is a daze raised up out of puddled water with a sarcophagus lying on top of it so uh, how do we do this uh, do i try to open it i'm not very it would take a strength uh, to it be able to pry it open so, so it would be armstrong yeah but i think uh, before we do that i think we should uh, check other areas first okay what do you think, oh great master Nicodemus? Mm. Should we check the other ways to make sure? Well, maybe we should see if Armstrong is indeed able to uh, open or lift the, the bars here. Okay, so I'm going to come out to uh, here and watch and, and listen down. Watch down here and listen this way. Hmm. Excuse me, you're listening. Yeah. And I will tell you in a minute if you hear anything. Um, is Armstrong going to take on the bars then? Uh, is this the way you guys, are you sure about this? Uh, yeah. Well, I, I didn't mean, I just lifted up a little bit to see if there's any movement at all. I mean, if it's rusted, uh, completely rusted through, we, sh we would need to find some other uh, way to enter the room. I mean, I, I'm just afraid of the noise it could make. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. But, I mean, you want to make a novel? You got to break some eggs. Okay. Uh, maybe then don't, if you think it's going to be too noisy. So, I can say to Vernon, where does your intuition tell you we should go? I think we should check uh, either of these corridors first to make sure we're not going to get ambushed from behind. Okay. There seems to be something down here, like more water. Okay. Does anybody want to come here and try to listen down this hallway? You ha You have the light, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll come to here and take a gander in and uh, see if I can hear anything walking in that water or anything. I'm afraid this time the monster got a surprise on you. <gasps> You're here, okay. So, the monster drops down and takes its surprise round against um, Vernon. What's your armor class, Vernon? 18. Oh, wow. So you're not too worried about that roll, then. I'm always worried about it. We do that thing. So he missed you on his first attack, and now everybody has initiative. The monster's on two. Armstrong's on one. Okay, so Aldar, Nicodemicus is first. Are you going to do anything? Yes, I think it's time for a flame arrow. And I cast a magic missile. Yeah, seven. Wow. It's not dead, but that's pretty nice. I thought you said flame. Yes, I miscast. It's a uh, uh, terrible accident. I step forward uh, and yep. I strike. Smack it. Hanging so, from its web from the ceiling, trying to bite Vernon on the head. 13. 13. That is a hit. All right. Oh, uh. <laughs> You only did two points of damage. Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh, that was not too hard. No. My spell has sufficiently weakened it. Amazing, Nicodemus, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. No. So this this seems to to be the, the same the same room. Hey. Part of this room that you're in has collapsed and that's where the water is. And then yes, another set of incredibly rusty bars. A gate again. Okay. So, I will reveal a little more of the room for you. Should we go ahead uh, and go uh, 
through the, the last corridor and, and kill the, the spiders down there. Uh, do we, what spiders? There must have been more spiders. There, there must be more spiders uh, through that corridor, I think. I want to take a look at this, uh, this water here. Can you see down into that all, or is it murky? Too murky. The water is very clear. Very clear. Um, because it's, it sets and settles. Right. Uh, there's no sunlight to make it grow anything on top, so other than a slight skiff of slime, it is very clear water. Anything of note underneath, or is it just uh, somewhat? Is it just sitting on top of stone, or is it actually deep? It's on top of the stone floor. The stones of the floor seem to have sunk or subsided in this area okay. somewhat, just enough okay. to make the water pool there. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think we should check that um, that other corridor before we make the big push into the large room. What do you say? I agree. Okay. I'll, let me. Uh, Take a look up here, and I'm going to take a listen at, at this before they get too close. The end of the light. Um, you hear absolutely nothing. Sounds clear, guys. And here comes the light. Okay, now let me see here. I've got a cone that you can see. Okay, and I'm going to stop you right there. Because now you can see quite a bit more of the room. Are those what I think? They're skeletons in chain mail. Standing up? Standing up, yep. Except for the one oh, there on the end. Oh, dear. They, they are standing perfectly still. They're in chain mail armor. And they are they're in, in antique chain mail armor. And they are armed with what appear to be pikes. The pikes look like the blades are rusty. But on the other hand, they're still pointy. Nicodemus, come here. This is a marvel. Hmm. We're learning so much from, from this expedition. Yes, but this is uh, the work of a necromancer. I would be... I would not step into the room. Oh, I would just want to see them up close. Whoa. I would not... Uh, no, I would not do that. I think uh, whoever created these uh, undead would have uh, ensured they would uh, yeah, be activated somehow by a threat, a perceived threat, and I'm pretty sure that we would uh, we would serve as such. Um, okay. We should be careful that, um, you know, maybe you know about magic. Do you, is there a way that maybe these bars could be tied to, like, a magic barrier or something? If we go into that room, it wakes them up, or do you think it's this room? Do you think it's no, this room? There's, uh, there's definitely a possibility it, that the bars are linked uh, to the activation of the skeletons. Yes, certain, certain, certain. Cert. So we're not actually sure if uh, this room is the danger. No, it could just be the, the place where they are held. So either way, we could end up, even if we leave these here and don't go into this room, we could trigger them anyway if we try to go into this room. So maybe, is there, would you feel confident that we could uh, get a head start on them? Maybe toss some oil beneath and catch that room on fire as much as possible and get as many now before they wake up? Or no, do you want to just... My deity would protect me against the foul and that... Well... well you're... You Unfortunately, hope. you're the only one with that DD. I'm going to point out to you guys, it is, uh, it is 8.55 Central Time right now, so we're basically at the end of our scheduled time. Yeah. Um, I think you should park your figures right where they are, okay. and we will come back to this next week.